Mark of the Beast 666, happening now. This will shock you. This is one in a series of videos explaining what is happening, why it's happening, and what you must do to survive. So keep watching if you want to live. This video series contains life-saving information, so be sure to watch them all and share them all with everyone you know. Please also like these videos and subscribe to our channel, which helps the algorithms get these videos in front of more people and helps get this life-saving information to as many as possible before it's too late. He also forced everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on his right hand or on his forehead so that no one could buy nor sell unless he had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of his name. This calls for wisdom. If anyone has insight, let him calculate the number of the beast, for it is man's number. His number is 666, Revelation 13. If you ever wondered why 13 has been considered an unlucky number, one reason could be that the mark of the beast and number of the beast appear in the 13th chapter of the book of Revelation. When I first learned about the mark of the beast as a child, it sounded far-fetched. How would they ever pull it off? How would they ever get the entire world to submit to receiving a mark in order to buy and sell? And yet, here we are. Now, before we go any further, I want to be clear that we are living in dangerous times. When Jesus spoke in parables, he wasn't simply trying to tell entertaining stories, but he was sharing hidden information that was being suppressed and for which he would ultimately be killed. For example, if you search the term Mark of the Beast, and you can do this right now on the most popular video sharing site we all know about, and try any combination combination of words along with Mark of the Beast, and you will essentially get all the same results, especially at the top of the list. Why is this? Because these are the results they want you to see. They have a box, and they want to keep you in it. But the deeper question is, why would they care about what you see when you search Mark of the Beast? So when Jesus shared, he shared in a way that only those who had eyes to see and ears to hear would understand. In the same way, I'm going to be sharing information in a way that you may need to read between the lines so that this information can reach you. So be sure to open your eyes, ears, minds, and hearts to receive it. First, let's examine the number of the beast in the original ancient Greek language. You can do this yourself at blueletterbible.org. You can also search the ancient Greek number of the beast online by using Strong's G5516. James Strong wrote an exhaustive concordance in 1890 numbering all the words in the Bible, and it is still used to this day. In addition, you can also copy and paste the original ancient Greek word from blueletterbible.org Org into the ghoul of goo, or what I'll call the devil's translator tool to hear how it sounds, which they pronounce hex, or as we would say, hex. Hex literally means six, as in a hexagon that has six sides, or a hexagram that has six points. Some purport that the word hex originated in the mid-19th century Pennsylvania, and that it came from the word hegtessa, which means hag or witch, but we believe the history may run a little deeper than that. After all, ancient Greece was around a long time before Pennsylvania. The word hex in Pennsylvania Pennsylvania is traced to the use of the hex sign that would often be found on farmers' barns. It is disputed as to what their purpose was, but it is believed that they were used to ward off spells and curses from local witches who might blight their farm and livestock. It is believed that these signs may have originally featured a six-point star, hence the term hex, meaning six. One might also note that there seems to be an historical association between curses and hexes. We also see that sources like the online etymology dictionary trace the word hexta, which means the devil, to the mid-13th century, clearly demonstrating that it existed long before Pennsylvania and literally meant the devil. In fact, many of these sources will often use terms like perhaps originated and probably, showing that they don't really know and are making their best educated guess. One thing we do know is that in those earlier time periods, people spent a lot more time reading the Bible, which was the first printed book and often the only book they had access to. They also heard it preached every Sunday when most people still went to church. And they would take the time that we now spend watching videos like this to study other languages, including Latin and ancient Greek, so that they could better understand understand the Bible. Considering that even today most people, including atheists, are quite familiar with the number or term 666, and the number has become synonymous with the devil long before Pennsylvania, it is not at all unreasonable, nor far-fetched, that people would have become quite familiar with the term when it was preached from the original Greek as not 666, but hex, hex, 
hex, or the term triple hex, which has become associated with a triple curse and has ever since been associated with the devil, curses, and darkness. You can also find this confirmed by Strong's G1812, G1835, and G1803, which in the ancient Greek is hexakosioi, hexakonta, hex, or simplified hex, hex, hex. But let us go a step further. When we read as a single word in ancient Greek, Strong's G5516, it is pronounced hex, or the anglicized hex. However, that is only one level to the word. As you will find throughout the Bible, the Lord often hides multiple meanings and applications in his scriptures. Just like the parables, the messages have multi-layers of spiritual and practical application for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. If you have ever wondered why God doesn't just say it plainly, it's because he wants to know how much you really want it. How deep are you willing to look and how far are you willing to go? As Jesus said, seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Ask and you will receive. So what does the word hex sound like when we read it letter by letter? Again, you can hear this for yourself by copying and pasting each of the ancient Greek letters into the devil's translator. According to the audio they provide, the number 666 is pronounced as chai, xai, but then, the devil's translator refuses to speak the third letter. Hmm, why is that? BlueLetterBible.org pronounces it as a word many of us are familiar with, stigma. Perhaps the reason the letter stigma is not sounded by the devil's translator is because the letter is so old that they're afraid to go there. Maybe because the devil knows the real stigma is on him. In other words, this letter is so ancient that it's even more ancient than ancient Greek, and some believe may even date back to the time of Cain when he received his mark, or stigmata, from the Lord. Stigma is from the root word stizo, which literally means to stick or prick. It was used to mark slaves when masters would brand or prick into their bodies, a mark incised or punched into the skin, under the skin. The devil's search engine provides some intriguing, seemingly unrelated definitions for stigma, yet are are they? One definition is a mark of disgrace. Another says stigma correlates with the crucifixion of Christ. Another relates to medicine, a sign of disease, a mark or spot on the skin. And lastly, perhaps strangely, defines stigma as a flower being pollinated or perhaps injected with pollen. Intriguing. This one-time use of this ancient of ancient letters is the only time in the entire Bible when this long, forgotten, ancient letter that the devil himself refuses to speak is even uttered. The only other time the word stigma appears in the Bible is in Galatians 6 17 when Paul says, I bear in my body the stigma of the Lord Jesus. Revelation 13 18 says that it requires wisdom, insight, and understanding to discern this ancient number of the devil, hex, 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 which means the mark may not be as obvious as one might expect. It could be easy to say that the mark will be a tattoo or brand on one's hand or forehead and leave it at that. That. But we all know Satan, or Lucifer, is much more cunning and devious than to simply have everyone line up and get stamped, at least at the outset. It is much more in line with his operations in the darkness for him to keep the mark hidden as well. Technology is a bit more sophisticated than the time the Bible was written. There are many ways to leave a mark on or in someone. When someone has had a heart attack, it leaves scarring around the heart that doctors can see through x-rays and identify that you have had a heart attack even if you didn't know you had one, which surprisingly is often the case. In the same way, when someone receives the mark, it can be made to glow so that anyone scanning the individual, be it at a hospital or a supermarket, will know they have the mark. Growing up in the Midwest, we had many bugs in the summer that would blink on and off and light up the sky. In and near the ocean, this amazing glowing phenomenon can also be seen. This is now something that can accompany the mark. Believe it or not, that is the real name of this technology, funded by Mr. Entrance to Hell himself. That is all that can be shared here on the subject, but please take time to read what you see and research it for yourself. Follow the numbers. There are many words, terms, and names related to this subject that come to the number hex, 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 as you can see. In fact, there is one particular foul and decrepit wretch who seems determined to be the Antichrist himself and to make everything he does add up to hex, hex, hex. 
His first name is what you get in the mail that steals your money. And his last name is what you find at the entrance to hell. Be sure to research and review this for yourself. You may have seen some of these videos and images before. Another element that has been discovered to accompany the mark is too small to be seen by the human eye, but can be detected and manipulated from outside the person. This element may even have the ability to self-replicate or self-generate and may interact with other technology. And can you believe it? It even has the geometric shape of hex, 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 or six sides. It is made up of six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons, and its maximum optimal absorbance rate is 666 farads per gram. Should we be surprised? Please research for more information. Now, something to watch out for when you research is articles that say things like has not been proven or no conclusive evidence, etc. They haven't really shown you that it is not true. They're simply trying to claim it isn't and hoping you won't do the research and go to the sources of the actual professionals and organizations who've put their careers and businesses on the line with nothing to receive but ridicule and persecution in order to bring you the truth. Watch out for the snakes in the search result graph. When we take the word on the screen and put it into the devil's translator, you will see that when it is translated to Hebrew, it means line in the hand. When we examine the Hebrew word line, we see that it can also mean mark or marked for destruction. So this popular word of our time could also translate as mark for destruction in or on the hand. It's very likely that the next step will be an invisible mark on the hand or forehead for those who don't have hands or prefer it, since not everyone carries a phone and it will become so commonplace to use it that people will not want to have to dig their phone out every time. They'll simply be scanned and be on their way. And all their financial data, etc. will be connected to it so that wallets are no longer needed. And won't kids think it's so cool to have an invisible tattoo? Dumbed down adults will too. Never realizing that they are now slaves to the system. So whether they scan your bio glow, your magnetic personality, or a wave of the hand, they gotcha. Remember, Hitler took over Germany legally at least on the surface. He was elected, even though only a small minority really supported him. But that small minority bullied the opposition to death literally, forcing people to vote for him out of fear. And the other leaders even stepped down to let him take over and become the dictator. Hmm, sounds a lot like what's happening now. Even now, they have legal documents and laws that are supporting this tyranny, as we can see from Mr. Doorway to Hell, and our limp-wristed Congress selling away our birthright that countless others fought and died for, for a bowl of soup. So what should you do if you have received the mark? Do not fret. Many are being deceived right now, but you can still turn to God and be saved. Every time the Bible mentions judgment of those who receive the mark, it always includes them also worshiping the beast and its image. Some Bible translations use the word or instead of and, but if you study the original text, it always includes worshiping the beast and not simply the mark itself. A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, if anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on their forehead or on the hand, he too will drink of the wine of God's fury, which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. He will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment rises forever and ever. There is no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and his image and receives the mark of his name. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the saints who obey God's commandments and remain faithful to Jesus. So what do you need to do? You need to stop taking the mark, turn to God, and start the healing process. If you reference some of our other videos on sites that support life and freedom, you will find more information about what can help you physically. Spiritually, you must repent, turn away from sin, and turn to God. It is our sins that have gotten us into this mess, and only our heartfelt repentance will get us out. You must repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And then you will receive God's mark, the promised Holy Spirit, which is a deposit guaranteeing your inheritance in heaven, provided you can continue to walk with him. God wants all men to be saved and come to a full knowledge of the truth. So we pray that you will turn to God now and be saved. Don't wait. This is the end, and he is returning any moment to snatch up those that are his before he brings justice upon those who oppose him. You don't want to be in that crowd. So be earnest and repent. Repentance brings refreshment and salvation along with your faith in him. Be sure to share this video with everyone you know. Don't let their blood be on your hands. Have a clear conscience and serve the Lord. Now is the time. Seek God and be saved.